Hello guys, good day and welcome to another episode on the show Behind the Scenes in Hell with Dr. Ron. If you're new to this show, if you're new to this channel, if you're new to this podcast, my name is Dr. Ronald and I talk about everything healthcare, particularly the things that happen behind the scenes that people don't really get to talk about so often. Right, so if you're new, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button so that anytime I drop fresh content, you'll be among the first persons to know what's popping on the channel so that being said on today's episode i'm going to be talking about 15 jobs you can do with a postgraduate degree in digital health now this video is just based on popular demand and people asking me are there options available if i do a degree in digital health can i work will i get a job and all of that and i keep telling them yes there are tons of opportunities because um i mean healthcare is changing and a lot of healthcare systems are leveraging on technology to improve healthcare service delivery, really. So the opportunities are there. So by way of introduction, digital health is basically the use and leverage of information and communication technologies to deliver healthcare services or to promote better health and well-being among patients, right? So um, we're dealing with a lot of data in a bid to transform the system. So that opens up a lot of opportunities for those with digital health qualifications, right? So there are a lot of schools that offer this degree in digital health. I mean, they are scattered all over the UK, the US, uh, Australia, New Zealand. I'm not quite sure about Canada, right? So, I mean, if you check, you definitely see schools that offer these degrees. So the first job on the list this list is by no means exhaustive. So it's just my 15 I just put together for the purposes of this video. I mean, you can still go digging on Google to find out more job opportunities. So the first one is digital health education specialist. Somebody needs to bring doctors, nurses up to speed about how to use digital systems and all of that too. That's where these people come in. You have the healthcare system project managers. Project management is, is like, a big fish right now so having an msc degree in um, digital health and probably having a project management education maybe prince to agile or whatever technique that is you know conversant or required in where you're practicing then i think that gives you an edge so project management is a big thing in digital health then you talk about healthcare leadership and governance specialists so this is actually a job on its own. Then you have the healthcare application developers, people who build mobile apps and all of that. So you need to be able to code to be able to build apps. And you talk about connected healthcare consultants or those who, I mean, connected care is also called technology enabled care. So there are people who does their area of focus or does their area of expertise. So it's something you might also want to consider. And you talk about data analysis, yeah, this one is popular. I mean, these devices we use in digital health, they, they pull a lot of data in real time. Somebody has to sit down, look at this data, make sense of the data to be able to, I mean, you need to make data-driven decisions. So that's where the data analyst guy is coming. So that's also a very good role. So you need good knowledge of um, SQL, Excel, and some of the visualization tools like Power BI or Tableau. Yeah, so that makes you a very good analyst. Then you have health systems and service designers. You have uh, system developers. You have information governance managers. Now, information governance is a big thing, especially in healthcare right now, where you're worried about uh, patient privacy, security of data, confidentiality, and all of that. So, so somebody has to make sure that we are all adhering to i mean regulations like the gdpr the dpa and all of that so that's where the information governance manager is coming you can also consider being a clinical information manager you have the planning and performance managers you have the full stack developers so full stack that's like programming you're doing both the front end and back end stack developers so you need to be able to code in maybe one or multiple languages you could also decide to be a product manager right so some of these applications or sensors that 
essentially product. So somebody has to manage the whole product life cycle. So product managers are there. You have the digital health advisor, and you also have the information analyst. So these are like my top 15 roles you can uh, get into with a degree in digital health. And yeah, it's also good to mention that these roles are also lucrative too. So, I mean, you don't really lose anything by being in them. They pay you well. And some of them even go a bit further to give you that kind of flexibility, such as remote work or hybrid working, where you probably pop into office twice a week and the rest of the week you're working from home. So you can have this level of flexibility with some of these jobs. So yes, those are my top 15 jobs you can do with a postgraduate degree in digital health. And again, it's not just for doctors, really. I mean, anybody in the healthcare space can actually do this degree and get into some of these roles I, I mentioned. So it's not uh, doctor-specific or nurse-specific or pharmacy-specific or whoever specific, any cater of health, healthcare worker can actually proceed to take these degrees and, you know, get into these roles and, you know, ascend the ladder in wherever you want to go. And again, there are also a lot of companies you can work for, work with, with this degree. I mean, a lot of the big companies now like Apple, Amazon, uh, Google, Microsoft, everybody is beginning to, I mean, their, their hands and feet is already in healthcare. So you can also work for this company. So a lot of, I know a couple of doctors who actually work for some of these big four companies or nurses in different capacities. So it's very, very possible and it's doable. Maybe one of these days I'll get some of them to come on the show to talk about their journey in um with digital health so yeah so that's that for digital health so if you have any comments if you have any questions i'm always glad to answer so you could just pop them in the comment section so i'll also i will always respond to your questions when i see them uh if you're working in digital health space you want to share your story you can also drop a comment you can bring you up on one of the episodes to share your story with People so that I mean, I think the essence is also to shed light on some of these areas that a lot of people don't know, so that people can see what's possible. I mean, so that you don't just stay restricted in one area, you're trying to move out, but you're not sure of the steps you're taking, if people are there, and what it takes. So, yeah, so if you have an experience you want to share, please, I'm glad to bring you on the show to talk about your experience so till i come your way next time so i always keep saying stay safe stay blessed and uh, have a beautiful weekend that being said bye for now